Before I got myself a soundbar, I've been using a pair of stereo bookshelf speakers. The Edifier R1580 MB as my TV speaker for more than 5 years. It is a fine speaker set with dual connectivity mode, RCA and Bluetooth. The sound quality is decent and to be honest that makes me question the rationale of getting a soundbar. I mean why would anyone spend a huge sum of money on a soundbar instead of stereo speakers with big drivers. After using the Sonos Beam Gen 2 for more than a month, I finally understand why soundbar is part of the home theatre system that serves a different purpose when compared to a regular stereo system. Reason number one, a soundbar has a better sound stage. While stereo speakers may provide a distinctive left and right channel output, the listening experience will be affected depending on the speaker size, the speaker placement, and where you sit in the living room. In my case, because the stereo speakers are placed on both sides of the TV, that means whoever that is sitting at the far left or far right will have a jarring listening experience whereby they can only hear from the speaker that is nearest to them. A soundbar will solve this problem because it is positioned in the middle, usually just under the TV. With a strategically positioned speaker driver in the soundbar, it will direct the left and right channels out and broadcast evenly in the room. Besides, some soundbars such as the Sonos Beam Gen 2 actually supports triple channel sound output, left, right, and center. That provides a punchy audio experience for your favorite blockbuster and games. Reason number two, a soundbar is easier to set up. No matter what kind of speaker you pick for your TV, a soundbar will always be easier to set up and takes up less space. You don't need to have extra space on the left or right of the TV to place the stereo speakers. Since the soundbar is a single unit, you just need to use one or two cables to set up. If you plan to use Bluetooth wireless, then you just need to connect the power cable to use the soundbar. Otherwise, an extra HDMI cable connecting the soundbar to the TV's supported ER port will enable Dolby Atmos. Of course, I am not taking into account on surround sound system setup because as the name suggests, surround means more speakers are involved. Reason number 3, a soundbar is designed for home entertainment in mind. Based on all the previous advantages, a soundbar is specially designed for home theatre. The support of HDMI eARC simplifies the sound system configuration as you don't have to deal with all sort of audio cables. For example, with my DIY stereo speaker setup, I have to separately purchase a HDMI audio splitter just to convert HDMI audio to RCA. On top of that, a soundbar usually will have one or two built-in features to level up your movie or couch gaming experience. For instance, the Sonos TruePlay feature will use your phone's microphone and tune the speaker to perform better according to the room's acoustics. Okay, so what is the weakness of this soundbar? Well, I mean in general, a soundbar with HDMI eARC support is usually more expensive than any conventional sound system you can whip together. Not to mention, when the soundbar has smart connected features built into it, such as the capability to pair with an app or talk to it like a smart assistant. It is up to you to decide which direction you want to step into. All in all, back to my original question. Why would anyone spend a huge sum of money on a soundbar instead of a stereo speaker with big drivers? Well, depending on your living room arrangement, most of the time I would suggest a soundbar for its soundstage, ease of setup, and simply for the fact that it is designed for own home entertainment in mind. So what do you think of the Sonos Beam Gen 2 and soundbar in general? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.